In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and move a learning activity card, how to add instructional activities, and add assessments. First, let's get some Trello lingo down. This whole area is the board for my course. These columns are the lists, and on the lists are cards. Each card has a bunch of features, but most essentially a front and a back. In the list on the left here is the card repository. These are the cards we are going to create copies of when storyboarding our courses. The rest of the lists are for us to organize our weekly activities. Adding a card is pretty basic. If we click add a card though, we won't get to use the templated cards from our repository. To add a pre-made card, click the template button. Choose the template that you want and create card. Another way to do it, if you prefer, is to go to the card of your choosing, right click, click copy, and then you're going to want to select the weeks, so week two, and click create card, and it will show up in the correct list. If you put a card in the wrong spot or you want to rearrange your cards, it's as simple as dragging it to a new spot. To see examples of instructional activities, click to see the back of a card. Choose one of the example instructional activities and write it in the instructional methods spot here. When I flip the card back over, the instructional activity shows up on the front of the card. To identify activities that have a formative or a summative assessment, you can click labels and select formative or summative assessment. I find I can't always remember what the labels mean, so you can actually click the label and it will always show you uh, the meaning of it there, or you can click it again to keep it small. Another way to more quickly access the labels is to right click and select edit labels, and you can add that way as well. If you find you can't see enough of your storyboard at once, use the zoom features of your web browser to zoom out and in. Trello is flexible. Anything else that you wish to change, you likely can. For example, changing the names of the weeks, the numbers of lists, or the labels on the cards are all possible. You can also mention other members of your team by writing a comment on the back of the card and mentioning them with the at symbol. Um.